welcome back. You've joined our small group of hog riders this where this is the Sunday following the uh, completion of the Southern Roar and we're heading, starting the journey back home to Auckland. We're heading in a generally northerly direction. We're heading across to the west coast and we were joined on this section of the ride by half a dozen riders from Christchurch Hog and we're led out by our good friend Rex who's uh, leading the way. We're heading on State Highway 6 on the Hast Pass Makarora Road and the water we could see to the left of us there initially was the headwaters for the uh, Lake Wanaka and it's now become the Makarora River which will keep us company on the left hand side as we head up into the mountains. Uh, when we get to the summit we'll be crossing over from the Otago region into the west coast region at which point on the right hand side of us we'll be travelling down the hill uh, alongside the Haast River. So this, uh, this ride is going to be uh, covering quite a few different pieces of terrain. Now this ride is going to, we'll stick with this particular one through up until we get to place called Gates of Haast, which I, well, excuse my ignorance, hadn't heard of before, but uh, now it rates as one of my favourite rides. The Gates of Haast is actually referring to a bridge that crosses the Haast River, um, and a bit of a gorge between two pretty uh, tall mountain areas, so it's about as best I can describe it. You'll see when we get to it. See the sign of welcoming us to the west coast so we have crossed the summit now and what's happening with the riding is that we are on a bit of a gentle descent that turns into a more sharper descent as we go further along. The river is, uh, alongside of us there to the right is the Haast River uh, as I mentioned earlier and that's going to be following all the way down the uh, right hand side of the roadway as we kind of dive deeper and deeper down into the uh, lower reaches of this uh, mountainous area. Some spectacular sights here, we've been getting blown away by the uh, snow-capped mountains um, reaching up, especially to the right hand side. Uh, it becomes quite, uh, quite breathtaking, hard to keep your eyes on the road. things that was a big surprise to me and I think to a number of the more regular riders of this route like the uh, half dozen Christchurch crew that were with us was the lack of rain right here in the west coast. Once again we seemed to strike it real lucky and the sun came out and uh, on the two or three days that we spent riding up the west coast and areas we didn't come across any rain at all, didn't have to pull out the wets even once which uh, I guess didn't make it a quite typical West Coast experience, but uh, you know what, I'll take it. I was pretty happy with the way it turned out. From this point onwards um, in the video, the ride down gets a little bit steeper. Um, and you can really tell that you're descending, your ears start to pop a little bit and got myself to thinking about brakes, you know, we saw these signs, I hadn't seen this before, something about runaway vehicle runoff ramp, I haven't seen too many of those signs anywhere, and, uh, but I can see the point for it, if you're heading down here in a truck for example, or a van or any kind of vehicle and your brakes fail, you, uh, you're you going to have a problem when you get down to the bottom because, you know, it's a pretty sharp corner, pretty sharp bend as it turns out right at the very bottom. Uh, but there's a lot of warning signs saying runaway vehicle ramp is approaching 500 meters. So only 500 meters here, you've got the white knuckles going on, holding on to the rig, tearing down the hill, hoping to find some relief. You've got no brakes, you're coming faster and faster around these corners, hoping for some relief. And then just when you think all might be lost, there is the ramp. You can run your vehicle straight up there and you'll come to a gentle halt. Look at that. Great thinking. Anyway, as we pass this last corner here, we see a pretty uh, right-angled type of sign. 
This is the gates of Haast, so we have arrived. Now it is a one lane bridge, fairly typical of these kind of areas. Wait for a vehicle to get across. We're going to take a break on the other side and stretch our legs, take some photographs, have a bit of a catch up on the other side. So that's where I'm going to leave this one. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, descent down to the gates of Haast. And uh, we'll uh, leave it to uh, carry on another time. So take care out there, ride safe, have fun. See you on the next one.